particular topic is looking at how we design new buildings or how we design new ways of working or new systems or, for example, new computer systems. And the notion of socio-technical is that these issues have a technical component, an engineering component if you like, uh, but they also have a social or a people component. So what's different about our centre is it very deliberately and explicitly brings together the engineering community with the social science community to try and deliver and design better systems. At any one time we have a, if you like, a portfolio of work that's going on, so obviously we have some work going on with major clients such as Rolls-Royce, but we also have ongoing relationships with people like Arup, with Leeds City Council, uh, with Chorus, we've worked with Sainsbury's, uh, BA Systems, a whole range of organisations, all of whom, if you like, are interested in uh, using research to solve applied problems. The bulk of the work that we're doing with Rolls-Royce involves helping them improve how they undertake their design processes. So the, the metaphor, if you like, is that what they're designing is a complex product, it's a complex system, the engine that actually goes on the wing. Uh, equivalently, how they do it is also a complex system. In our language, it's a socio-technical system, so it uses technologies, computers, tools and what have you, but it's also a social system with processes and people. And what we're trying to do is to help them optimise how they do that, but it also means from our point of view that it means we can direct PhD students to work with them or a master's students, so you have the full benefit of achieving a critical mass of work through a long-term relationship. I think what's exciting about what's happening within uh, Leeds University Business School is we're pretty well geared up to undertake interdisciplinary work. So there's some strong relationships that we have with people in engineering across all of the engineering departments. We have strong links with people in geography and psychology and a range of other departments. And partly as a result of the transformation funding that the university's put into some selected areas, it means we are very strong and capable at bringing teams from different disciplines together to solve applied problems.